Okay guys, hey, this is So they just spotted. I'm in Miami with Laura Messier. I thought I'd film a video getting ready for the final night. We're going out for dinner to celebrate their new products. Unfortunately, it's raining in Miami. Uh, we had a bit of sun this morning, but I slept in because I was hungover. So I missed it. Uh, it's been raining ever since, unfortunately. So this is the product that we're here for. They've got all these primers that they've released and they're called Pure Canvas Primer. They gave me a spare one because they gave me some before I left on the trip and then we also got some in the room for the trip. So I thought I could do a giveaway. If you're watching this video, make sure you're subscribed, leave a comment and thumbs up the video and I'll pick someone to win this primer set. Comes, you know, in this little pack. It's really cute. So good luck. I'll wrap that up and pack it away safely so that someone will get sent this when I'm back in LA. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I've actually only got an hour before we have to meet in the lobby. So I think I'm gonna do, oh, I, I've got this. The top I'm gonna wear is this. I've been saving it for a fun occasion like this. How cool is it? And then it's pink or red, whichever way you go. And I love the color combination of pink and red. So I think I'm gonna do, just like a lightly defined eye then, maybe a red lip or a pink lip. Let's just start with the base first and see what happens. This is the Pure Canvas Power Primer. Supercharged Essence. Sounds good to me, so I'm gonna use it. Ooh, that's what it looks like. Oh, It's not as liquidy as I thought it would be being in a dropper. So far I've used the SPF primer a lot because obviously sun protection. This one, I guess it's kind of like skincare benefits. Mm. Oh, it smells so good, blends really nice. Because it's so windy here at the moment, I just did my hair up like this, with like a little messy bun situation. Oh, and I'll just let my top do the talking. I was gonna do my hair wavy, but my hair doesn't stay very easily, and especially if it's like rainy and windy, it's definitely not gonna stay. Now, I think I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier foundation. I love this stuff. This is the Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Foundation and I've got one in 3C1 Dune and 2W15 so one warm one cool. I don't have their neutral foundation yet. I, I've asked them for it. They're gonna give me one which is nice but uh, yeah for the moment I'm gonna mix them because the warm one's probably too warm. The cool one's definitely too cool. Looks pink on me. So I'm gonna mix the two. Equal pumps. I put four pumps, two of each. Looks a little bit lighter, but I'll put a uh, bronzer on after. Wink. This is the Color Change Beauty Blender. When you put it in warm water, it goes white, but it's cold at the moment. <laughs> so, how nice is that foundation? I'm on a leather seat, by the way. If you hear anything, I'm not farting. Okay, I am trying to get through products, like finish them. So I packed some products that are like almost run out, like this this one from Nude Sticks. I'm almost at the end. I'm excited to get through products because I swear I never get through products. And then the other one that I'm almost done with, I mean, I've been through thousands of the, well, that's an exaggeration, but I've been through a lot of the Benefit Gimme Brow. So I'm almost through yet another one, which is satisfying. And I'm just gonna use that. The good thing about growing out my eyebrows, the best thing I did in 2019 was grow out my eyebrows, I swear, because now, all I have to do is use like a plumping brow gel. I don't feel like I have to color them in anymore. I just prefer that look really. If they're not perfect, like that's good. If I want to fill in any gaps, like just kind of take the tip of the brow gel. Cause I had my eyebrows tattooed as well. Before I grab my eyebrows, there's kind of like a row of hairs at the bottom that aren't tinted from the old tattoo. So I usually, do like a line at the base so that it has a bit more depth there. And then I'll brush through again. Yeah, this is well and truly like running out. Although I have a feeling that because of the shape of this, I, there's product I'm not able to get to. Kind of like the old Urban Decay Primer Potions, how we used to cut them open. Cool. Okay, a bit of eyeshadow primer. I've got this little Fenty Beauty travel one. With whatever's left, I take it under my eye because it might help with creasing when I put my concealer under there. But only with whatever's left. I don't want to load up too much product under there. So relaxing with the rain. Got this nice eyeshadow that I really like from Sisley and it's matte nude. I'm going to put that all over my eye. I think I might do really soft glam 
eye and then a bright lip. Because if I'm trying to do a really natural eye look, I'm going to put this powder all over first so that it's really easy to blend soft colors. So I don't want to have to keep building up too much. I want to keep it all really light. So I'm going to add this skin tone all over my eyelid. So get one that matches your skin tone. For me, this one's quite good. Rub it all over the eye. And then I've also got this shimmery one. It's called Silky Cream 10. I'll put that on my lid for a bit of sheen. Got this Laura Mercier bronzer. This one's in Soleil One, so it's like a lighter chocolate brown. Dust that really lightly through my socket. Really nice and soft. I've got this Laura Mercier eye pencil in Noir. I'll use that to just make a really thin line, a clean line, I guess, on my upper lid, starting at the outer part. So a very delicate little line and I'm just smudging it out or kind of pulling it out a little bit with this Dior eyebrow brush. I think I'll leave it at that. For mascara, I packed... Oh! Oh, sorry, Sarah. I'm quite amazed Sebastian is literally napping right now. How is this sleeping through my shenanigans? What time is it? 5.41. So I have a little bit of time to go. So Nas. Climax Mascara, again, a little travel one I got. Love travel size stuff because it gives me more room to pack more different types of makeup, but also because I can actually get through it. <laughs> and I'll do my lower lash mascara later. I think I'm going to use the same lashes that I used yesterday. They are my Ilua lashes, the Milano ones. Ye old glue. <laughs> Okay, while well, the lashes are getting tacky, I think I'll put my bronzer on. This should warm me up a bit. Oh, I'm almost there. Almost finished with it. Oh my God, lashes make such a difference. Honestly, I think they are the prettiest lashes I've ever seen. They're my favorite of all my lashes that I designed with Ilua, and they're also just my favorite lashes of, of all time. Because they're spiky, they're flared, they're really natural looking. So pretty. Okay, next. Oh, I'm gonna put concealer under my eyes. I think again, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier concealer. I think I'll take this one, it's called 2W. Notice how my concealer for under my eye isn't super bright. I'm so into that lately. Not really brightening up under there. For blush, I'll take Rose Riot from Iconic London. These sheer blushes, seriously so pretty. Just put a little squirt on each cheek. And then I've been using a brush. This is the ColourPop F24. Yep. And then you just blend it out. It's so pretty. Look. Oh, yes. It's so, 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 so pretty. Then I'll use the Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder from Laura Mercier. I love this powder. It's baked and it's just a really nice glowy finish rather than like fully matte. Smooth out under the eye and then I'll sweep some under there very lightly dusted over the cheeks because I don't want to completely get rid of that sheer effect from the blush. And then, oh my god, of course I have to use this highlighter. This is indiscretion and I think that they still make the prettiest highlighters ever. The strobing fan brush from um, Sigma and Roxette Arisa's collab is perfect for this. Ready? Now, we're on to the red lip now. I'm gonna take Laura Mercier Crimson Lip Liner and then the Rouge Eclatant. Rouge Eclatant. Eclatant. Eclatant? Eclatant? Eclatant. 
I've got my NARS concealer and I'm gonna take that on a tiny little lip brush and go around the edge and I'm almost done. Done. I'm going to use this Laura Mercier brow gel to make sure the hairs are poking up because my hairs are not poking up enough on this eyebrow. This is just clear eyebrow gel. I've never used this one before. I like the wand. It's like long. Normally eyebrow wands are like stumpy. Okay, I'm gonna rush to put my outfit on because we, it's 6.13, so I have to be down there in a little over 15 minutes. So I'll put my outfit on and I'll show you the finished look. Okay, I've got my outfit on. You can see the pink and red in my top by Rachel Gilbert. And I've got these pants. They are from Mossman. And they've got like a little satin stripe down the side so they look really dressy and I love the way it's all tying together. I've got Stuart Weitzman heels on. They're really comfy. I've got pants on so lots of flexibility. I can dance the night away. And I can't wait to see these sparkle under the light. And thanks Laura Mercier for having me on this trip. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.